Welcome back to a new video, and for those of you that are new, thank you for being here. On this video today, I'm going to be talking about the Soho, the Soho Karen, who, as of yesterday, in this interview that I have saw around lunchtime, which is 12 p.m., that this 22-year-old woman was calling camera, as the tweet says from CBS this morning, allegedly physically attacking a 14-year-old black teen and falsely accusing him of stealing her phone was arrested in California. And in the exclusive interview, Mia Ponsetto and her lawyer spoke with Gail, Gail King from CBS, from CBS this morning before she was arrested hours later. And to me, when I watched that whole interview, I was in shock but I, but I also was in was likely disappointed too because in the video of this interview I seen at least half of the story and I know that there's more coming up because it's supposed to come up on Monday so without further ado I'm gonna Start new, uh, start new recording, and then I'll take you to this video right now. The woman caught on camera physically attacking a black teenager and falsely accusing him of stealing her cell phone has been arrested in California. It happened last night. You might remember this video. Mia Ponsetto approached 14-year-old Keon Harold Jr. at a New York City hotel last month, accusing him of stealing her phone. His father, jazz musician Keon Harold, recorded the encounter and accused Ponsetto of racial profiling. Uh, we, we have you, what you, you, see, you see two black people. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone. Now, the video shows Ponsetto trying to stop the teenager from leaving the hotel lobby and then rushing toward them. Hotel surveillance video shows the 22-year-old woman tackling Keon Jr. Now, he never had the phone. It turned up several minutes later at the hotel. New York City detectives went to California yesterday to coordinate Ponsetto's arrest in connection with the confrontation. She was contacted at a traffic stop in Ventura County near Los Angeles. Officials say that police had to pull her out of the car when she refused to get out. Now, in an exclusive interview, we had just done that interview yesterday afternoon. Her lawyer spoke with us before she was arrested. They told us that NYPD had not yet contacted them. Mia, help me understand. What made you think that Keon had your phone? That's why I'm confused. Why did you think he had it? I was approaching the, the people that had been exiting the hotel because in my mind, anybody exiting is probably the one that uh, might be the one that is trying to steal my phone. I admit, yes, I could have approached the situation differently or maybe not yelled at him like that and made him feel, you know, maybe some sort of... Uh, inferior way and making him feel as if I was like hurting his feelings because that's not my intention. I, I consider myself to be super sweet. I really never ever meant for it to like hurt him or his father either. Are you saying that you were stopping everybody in the lobby asking them about your phone? Is that what you're saying? Um, not everyone. Just the just the people that in the meantime while, while the hotel manager was checking the, the footage, I just wanted to do my part as best as I could. You just described yourself as super sweet. I know you've seen the video. When you look at the video, the reaction seems very extreme. It doesn't seem like it's someone who's super sweet. How would you feel if you were alone in New York and you know, you're going to spend time with your family during the holidays and you lose the one thing that gets stolen from you that has all of the access. It's the only way that you're able to get back home. I just don't think I would randomly attack people is, is what I'm saying to you. I know you said you could have handled it better, but I just don't think I would randomly attack people in the manner in which you did. What do you think when you look at that video? 
You're standing there in your leggings and your flip-flops, and it looks like you're just going nuts, for lack of a better word. No, I'm not letting him walk away with my phone! I don't feel that that is who I am as a person. I don't feel like this one mistake does define me, but I do sincerely, from the bottom of my heart, apologize that if I made the son feel as if I assaulted him, or if I hurt his feelings, or the father's feelings. I don't believe one mistake defines anybody, but I, I think when I look at that particular video, you're, you did more than just accuse him. The video seems to show that you physically attacked this young boy. You do see that too, right? But at the end of the day, the dad did end up uh, like slamming me to the ground and uh, pulling my hair and th throwing me and dragging me across the ground. So I, I will say that. Yeah, but, but I think, you know, the video we saw, it looked like you had just attacked his son. Yeah, the footage shows me attacking his son of attacking him how yelling at him yes okay i apologize can we move on i know you're saying i don't need to i just want to apologize but i do think that there should be some context to your actions that day okay so basically i'm i'm a 22 year old girl i am i i don't i racism uh is i said i how is one girl accusing a guy about a phone a crime where is the context in that <laughs> Mia, what is the Mia, deeper what is the deeper Mia. what is the deeper Mia, story it's here? not it, it, that's not the problem you have to at least understand your actions that day you seem to have attacked this little boy this young boy this, this teenager you seem to have attacked this teenager about the phone and then it turned out he didn't even have your phone that's the thing. I mean, you're, you're you're saying, look, I'm 22 years old. You're 22 years old, but you are old enough to know better. So I will say you're 22. I, right, get, I get it. Enough. The hotel did have my phone. The hotel did end up having my phone. I did get my belongings returned to me. You see what she did there? When I saw her saying enough, like she used her hand, like trying to be a little sassy and say enough, I thought that she was being kind of condescending. Yeah, I think she was being condescending because the way she really couldn't explain herself very well is one of those damning reasons that that she should have admitted to. Now, what I didn't like about the way she did it when I saw the interview, lift the video clip that had been spiraling spiraling all over social media probably was the fact that she hit the 14 year old black teenager because he's black she hit him over her phone because he's black and that's the whole issue behind it and the fact that she went out of her way to go and beat up that little boy that teenage boy, I should say. Like, there's literally no excuses. No excuses. She attempted to grab him. And in the footage, it looks like she actually beat him up over a stupid phone. Who beats up someone because of their race over a stupid phone. If you left your phone in a cab or in an Uber specifically, and you thought someone stole your phone, and you beat them up solely based on the color of their skin, you are completely You are completely entitled. You're an entitled, spoiled brat who 
can't think about other people but themselves. And you're a 22 year old woman beating up a teenage black boy. Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? That was my favorite part. Enough. Now, the Harold family's lawyer released a statement last night. They said this is not about an apology from someone who until a few days ago was claiming she did nothing wrong and, in fact, alleged that Keon Harold Sr. had assaulted her. Someone who targeted a 14-year-old black teenager because of the color of his skin. We'll have more of our interview with Miss with Miss, with Miss Mia Ponsetto on Monday. You know, I actually felt for the attorney there who was really trying to help her. And then, yeah. you know, when she interjected, uh, Mia would get upset about that. She insisted that she's not racial profiling. She has an explanation about that. And, you know, it was reported that an Uber driver returned the phone. She says that's not true. So right. she's... <laughs> She yep. wanted to make an apology, but I, as I said to her in the interview, I'm not sure you're helping yourself here. Well, yeah. the point is, he didn't have her phone. No, he did not. And? He did not. Interesting choice of hat, by the way. Yeah, and I also the point is that the video footage is pretty clear, and she yeah. doesn't seem quite ready to acknowledge what it shows. You're her lawyer, Sharon, sitting by her, ha- her side, tried to help her. It's interesting you would point out the hat, because Sharon said, you, you know, you might want to remove that hat. No. And she refused to do that, too. It was, it was an interesting afternoon. And at the time, you know, I said, had NYPD been in touch with you? They had not. So it was yeah. interesting that right after that, after that interview, she was stopped and then arrested. Well, she said she didn't understand why it's a crime. Well, she might, she might learn now. Yeah. yeah. It's a very sad story, yeah. though. Really, it is a very sad I story. I think something sad about her we, and the fact that the trauma that she put fourteen this 14-year-old, 14-year-old teenager yeah. through. Yeah. That's not okay. Gail King is right. It's extremely not okay. And the fact that she did it over a phone, which the bo- which the teenage boy says that he didn't steal whatsoever, is completely utterly surprising that she would be up over this and the way that she puts out her hand to tell Gail enough is like rude and really disappointing it really is Now, the interview, the rest of the interview is on Monday. I'll probably watch CBS this morning on Monday to get the full story behind it. And I'll probably make a video as early as possible. So I don't delay like I did yesterday. Because it was happening like, like as soon as yesterday's interview went up. So... Yeah, I'm gonna just do that.
and according to the Instagram user who posted this, she is not even a hotel guest. And she checked out in the hotel on the 23rd of December, and today is the 26th. Or it was the 26th of last year. I just want to know how irresponsible she was being at this point in time. Because if she thought that someone stole her phone, it's completely insane and moronic of her to assume that her own son that his own, that the guy's own son stole her phone, which he did not, because he has his own phone the whole time with his father while they were walking together in this hotel for that exact obvious reason. The fact that she attacked the, the boy like that is just district's record. New York City police and prosecutors are now investigating that hotel confrontation that saw a woman falsely accuse a teenager of stealing her iPhone. NBC's Kathy Park talked to that boy's father who captured the whole thing on camera. Kathy, good morning. Craig, good morning to you. Keon Harold, a noted jazz musician, told me he is still in shock and that the experience has been traumatic for his entire family, especially his teenage son. Harold says he is overwhelmed with response to that video, but appalled that he even had to hit record. This morning, jazz musician Keon Harold is calling for assault and battery charges against this woman, who's now at the center of a viral confrontation. I tried to tell her as best as I could that he doesn't have your phone. Harold says he began recording the incident that played out at a New York City hotel where they were staying. He says a stranger wrongly accused his 14-year-old son of stealing her iPhone. Are you kidding me? You feel like there's only one one iPhone made in the world? No, okay, then show me the show. Me. It's a beautiful soul. Him experiencing this is, is super traumatic. We see at some point she gets close to you and towards the camera, but then it cuts off. So what happens next? She basically, she tapped my son, you know, trying to reach in his pockets, reach in my pockets. NBC News does not know what happened before or after the minute-long video and was not able to make contact with a woman who has not been publicly identified. Police did confirm a harassment complaint has been filed. And the Manhattan District Attorney's Office says they're thoroughly investigating the incident. Harold is now working with attorney Ben Crump, who is calling for a civil rights investigation into the hotel. We can't have this double standard in America where a young black people are guilty until proven innocent. The Arlo Hotel says the manager on duty promptly called police regarding the woman's conduct and apologized for the inexcusable experience. No, he's not leaving. Show me the proof. The widely viewed footage triggering outrage on social media. New York City's Mayor Bill de Blasio tweeting, this is racism, plain and simple. You see two black people? No, this I, case now joining I, I, other caught-on-camera moments, demanding accountability. And Harold says that the woman's phone was later found in an Uber. He adds that hotel surveillance footage could shed more light on the confrontation from beginning to end, which he says lasted for about five minutes.